Eh bien, salut à tous, j'espère que vous allez bien. On se retrouve aujourd'hui sur Tales of Arise pour continuer notre histoire. Donc on reprend exactement là où on en était. Hier, on avait vaincu le, le premier boss du jeu et c'était vraiment super cool dans, la, dans cette vidéo. J'ai vraiment kiffé le, le combat, bien qu'il soit un peu chaud pour le, pour le début du jeu. C'est vrai qu'on n'était pas trop trop entraîné, mais c'était vraiment sympa. Donc euh, bon, bah voilà, là on va dans cette vidéo, au programme, on va continuer la suite de l'histoire et puis bah, découvrir... Euh, Découvrir la suite de, de ce super jeu. Allez, moi je vous dis euh, bonne vidéo à vous et à, à très vite. I wonder if something happened. This is... Yeah. What? <laughs> Shion. Why do you keep people at arm's length? <laughs> You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Like with Tilsa just now. Why couldn't you just accept her gratitude? Our interests just happen to overlap. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the Lords. See? That's what I mean! <laughs> you want to defeat the Lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. <sighs> You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the Blazing Sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. But I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the Blazing Sword! like that <laughs> if you get any closer you're going to set off my thorns you know uh, I was just trying to compliment you you were <laughs> what now Sion your thorns it's okay I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Core. Thank you, Xion, for everything. 
Now let's go check out those gates of fire. We go. See anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Yes. Nice. Smiling, laughing. It's finally sinking in that we want. If you hadn't healed me back there, Shion, I'd have never lived to see this. I told you before, if you die on me, it'll make things difficult for me, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Mm hmm. So sure.
well? Hmm. Sure. Okay, off we go. Get lost! I'm not done! Mega Ray! Here I come! Reload! Infernal Torrent! This could be useful. Take your eyes off the prize. I'm quite aware without you, you reminding me. These little ones are hardly Strike. worth our time. Less talking, Mega more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Barely a blip on our radar. Clear of that zoogle if I would. I have a bad feeling about this. You're mine. I never miss. <laughs> As if the normal crazy crawlies are disgusting enough. I'm out of ammo. Resuscitation. Done yet. Get lost. Swallow blade. Searing flame. Uh, reload. Infernal torrent. Here Mega I come. Ray. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. That blazing sword's turned out to be even stronger than I expected. <clears throat> With that much sheer power. Elemental types are hardly a concern anymore. You can bring practically any foe down to their knees in a flash. Don't count on me being able to pull off another Gates of Fire. That only happened because I had the help of that spirit vessel monster too. Still, you did defeat Balsef with it, which means it can also take down the other lords. That's enough for me. Besides, if it was any stronger, your body wouldn't be able to handle it. Have you forgotten what happened after we finished off Balsef? No, but aren't you scared of having that much power inside of you? 
Even a little? Why would I be? Power provides opportunity. You don't expect me to simply throw it away, do you? No, I get it. It's a good ace to have up our sleeve, that's for sure. I'll make the most of it. Well, as much as I can without becoming charcoal. Mm-hmm. I thought I was used to fire by now. Okay, off we go. I don't see any soldiers or their pet zoogles. Just strays roaming around. They must have split once Balsef kicked the bucket and they... ...had nobody left to obey.
Let's dispose of the trash. Right. Damn it! We did it! These little ones are hardly worth Come our time. On. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. This could be useful. That monster that appeared from the spirit vessel, and the power inside the blazing sword, they're both born of the same thing. It's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying Danans. I suppose so. And it was the Danans who gave their lives for today. Their power. After all this time, it's what finally destroyed Balsif and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I wager they don't give it back, right? <laughs> what? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? How am I supposed to know? My memory's a complete blank, remember? <sighs> <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any... She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately? We're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies here, then... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? Yeah, he's back in Mosgul. If anyone can help us, it's him. In that case, would you mind asking for us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. Days I go by Alfin. Alfin? I heard that was the guy who brought down Balsif. Wait, you're telling me you're the liberator of Calaglia? Our own I- I told you, I'm Alfin now. And I didn't overthrow Balsif alone. 
Even so, that's no small feat you've accomplished. And you managed to get your face back, too. That woman with you, the Renin? You know about her. Only what I've heard from rumors. I wasn't sure I believed it, but now I suppose I must. Doc, she... Thank you. You sure you should be saying that to a Renan? I'm not saying it to any old Renan. I'm saying it to you, young lady. I only helped because it was in my interests as well. Of course, I would imagine as much. But that doesn't change the end result. The two of you defeated Balsef, and now all of us are free. That is a fact. Thanks, Doc. I should be the one thanking you. I'll never be able to repay what you two have done. Anyway, I'm guessing you didn't come here just to catch up. Uh, right. We need your advice. We found a girl who's collapsed from exhaustion, and she needs medicine. Do you know anything that could help? Hmm. If she's that weak, she may need a nutritional boost. You're oh! Have you tried searching Keert Garrison? No. We passed it on our way here, but... With all the Renin soldiers gone, that place should be empty now. If we're lucky, maybe they left something you can use. Good idea. We'll take a look. Keert Garrison. If I'm not mistaken, that's located... You look happy. Do I? I guess I am. Getting thanked for everything by someone I actually know? It made it really hit home that we made a difference. That guy's a strange one, though. Doc? I don't think he's that odd. He is, though. He thanked me, a Renan, for helping. Despite everything my people have put him through over the years. He's free now. He doesn't have to act nice around my kind. He's not acting. He means it. And like he said before, he was thanking you as an individual, Xion, not just some Renin. That's what makes it so strange. Would you have preferred he yelled and threw rocks at you? I'm not saying that, it's just hard for me to understand him. We've reached our destination.
Fuzzy. Looks like it could be worth something. What's this thing? We've reached our destination. You think it might be useful? We should try it and see how it turns out. Barely a blip on our radar. Dying? Ah, right. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Think this is it? How would I know? It matches the description we were given, at least. I hope you're right. There's no way I'm... Just to be safe, I think before we head back to... Ulzebeck, we should maybe have Doc double-check this is the right stuff. All right, but let's make it quick.
Did you find anything useful? We think this might work, but we wanted you to take a look at it first. Let's see. Ah, this stuff. Yes, this'll work. I'd... Right. Then we'll do that now. Say, Iron Mask. No, sorry. It's Elfin now, right? Are you and that young woman planning to stick together moving forward? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm, I see. You know, I think things just might be starting to change. What do you mean? I'm not sure of that myself, but I feel like after being... St I imagine people are going to have things to say about the two of you. But you simply keep doing what you feel is... If you ever get tired and need to rest, feel free to come back here. Until then, take care of yourself. Thanks, Doc. Okay, off we go. What are those things I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights? What? You mean my bombs? Bombs? As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I could- That's because these aren't ordinary bombs. They're special- Hmm, okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. One moment you're using powerful bombs, the next you're using po Think of it this way. If you ever get caught up in the blast of one of my bombs and you manage not to die, I'll be able to heal you using my arts. Hmm. I'll do my best to not die then. Is this what you asked for? Perfect. That'll do nicely. I had a feeling you'd come through for us. With this, the little one should be right as rain in no time. I can't believe it. Not often we get visitors from Cislodia around here. Cislodia? Calaglia's neighbor. One of the five realms. What with that wall in the way, I guess it's not surprising. But... I've never actually met someone from the outside world before. Up till now, the only time the gates ever opened was to let Renan convoy units in and out. No one ever thought to stow away and hitch a ride out? This place might be a living hell, but when next door is a living hell too, you start thinking it doesn't matter much one way or the other. So you're Rinwell, and you're with the Cislodian Resistance known as the Silver Swords. Your organization sent a group of you to establish contact. But you're the only one who made it through. That sound about right? Lately, our people's oppression has become more and more severe. When we heard rumors that you had staged a successful rebellion in Calaglia, we hoped that maybe you could help us. News sure gets around quickly, huh? If you ask me, it's awfully convenient she just happened to show up now. Certainly raises a lot of red flags. Please, I swear it's true! My people are dying! I risked my life trying to get here so I could find help. 
It's okay. You did well. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Hold on, Zephyr. You're not really thinking... We'll join her. Alfin, start getting ready. I let you use the Blazing Sword, and we work together to overthrow the Lords. That was the deal, remember? Wait, is that a Renan? What is this? Take it easy. It's complicated, but she's on our side. She helped to find some medicine for you. She did? But no, she's a... I, I can't believe it. The Renans from other realms could attack at any time. That's for you all to worry about. I've got bigger fish to fry. That sword of Alfin's is our best weapon. We can't just go lending him to other lands. Even if you keep him here, the blade's as good as useless without me on board. And what makes you think I can't persuade you, Bright Eyes? What makes you think you can? Last I checked, you couldn't even touch me. Enough! Alfin, what do you want to do? I... I know all too well the hardships the slaves of this realm had to endure. That's why I took up the sword. To help them. If Danans are being oppressed in other realms, then... then I have to help them too. Nath has a point. We can't discount the possibility of further attacks, but now our struggle has grown. It's become much larger than just liberating the people of Calaglia. We can't be in two places at once, Zephyr. True, which means we're limited in our options. We play this the same way we did with Balsef. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both, but it's too late for regrets. Jeez, really? You don't say. So, you're really going, huh? Just the four of you? Uh, afraid so. Look after the place while we're away. <laughs> Always the smooth talker. We'll do what we can to hold down the fort. We've got the Renans to keep us busy. Good luck. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, don't go killing anyone without good reason. I get it. I'm not about to repeat what they did. Let's move, people. I don't pick on the weak. Here I go. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Don't go charging off like this. One final push. Right. Give them all we got. Everything's coming up, Zephyr. What's that over there? Some kind of castle? Yeah, one that belongs to a different lord than Balsef. Right, that makes sense. You said there were five of them in all, right? Right. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. There.
Mr. Rinwell, right? It's nice to meet you. Does that little white animal follow you everywhere? He's not a little white animal. His name's... I'll take you all on! Slut! Here I go! You're the monster! Take on! Where are you going? Where are you going? Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. Get lost! Swallow blade! Help it! Mega ray! Damn it! Damn it. Well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes Guess off the road. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right. Right behind you, Shion. the landing. What's got you so worked up, Hoodle? Is that? Watch out! They know we're here! Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. They're nothing I haven't seen before. Shion! I'll shoot them down, you finish them off. Got it? Flying enemy out of the sky, and it's as good as done. Right. See what I can do. Take this! <laughs> Flyers! These are all you, Shion! You're finished! What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so... like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodles... He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Ha -ha! Oh. oh! You just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Let me know if you're struggling. I always love the sound of hammers banging away.
What are you staring for? Do all Danon fighters look like you? What, this getup? I pulled this number together from scrap and parts I salvaged throughout the years. Though now I'm feeling self-conscious, seeing how put together you seem to be. Oh, oh no, I, I was just curious. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more. More of them around than I thought. I take it we're heading through here, then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That's surprising. You said was. So then, is she gone? Was it the Renans? No. She was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed. And then she was gone. I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But... but... Uh, uh. Let's go. I'm sure I can put this to use. Don't get careless! You're mine! Don't tell me! Uh, uh, You're finished! Take this! Take aim and blast it out of the sky! You're on! I'm on it! We got flyers! I've got it! All yours! Slice. Infernal Torrent! Talent Storm! Here I come! You're finished! Searing Clay! Yeah. I'm on it! Slice. It's over! Watch and sweep! Take this! By the power of water! Never imagined there were Zoogles out there that could pretend to be statues. That's because Zoogles don't come from nature. Freezing in here, and after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Cislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. 
Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. So? Renan surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renans. They've got Danans spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. <laughs> That's why the world needs people like us. I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Shion. What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. But... It's not like I'm that good of a... <sighs> Look, that's just how it... Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemies' movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. It's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. Don't get careless! Don't tell me! Look at this! Take this one! This one's all mine! Here I come! This one's gonna be tough! Why'd you heal me? To stop you dying? Ah, right. Take this over! Do it! Don't go charging no. off like that! It's over! Nazareth! Here I come! Here I'm on it! Take this! Uh, uh, Talent cool! Touch! Do it! Uh. Strike! Everything's coming up, Zephyr! Searing flame, reload! Take this! Uh -huh. 
That was almost too easy. Normally, I don't pick on the Take this! Mega Ray! Portal Blade! Try this! Inferno Can I go? Portal Blade! Try this! Touch! Can I go? Inferno Blade! You're mine! Now hit! Go! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! See you continue on in You're that mine. game. Uh, yes, my lady? I'm Something on. you want to... Well, take a look at that. Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. And what have we got here? Oh, I saw that in a book once. Those things are worth a lot. You're a little bookworm, aren't you? I have a bad feeling about this. Swallow blade! Uh -huh. Swallow blade! Swallow blade! You're mine! It's over! Reload. See ya! Tell the door! What's wrong? Nothing. Focus on the fight. You're mine. Touch Here I go. I'm not getting hurt. You're finished. Here I come. You're finished. On to the next. Roger that. Show me what you can do, kiddo. These little ones are hot. Less talking, more pummeling. Let me know if you're struggling.
Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while. So, the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is 
everything going to be okay with these people? I'll take you all off! Strike! There! Uh -huh. You're fine! Uh -huh. Swallow Get blade! Try this! I'll run you through! Infernal turret! Coming. You're mine! Get Don't let them pull it back! It's over! I'm on it! Slut! By the power of... Everything's coming up, Zephyr! I've noticed the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. What's this thing? Normally I don't pick on the weak. Try this! Try this. I'm on it! Turn it. Turn it. See ya! Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Where are you going? Airborne beasts. Here My special. You picked you the wrong do it. <laughs> This ends now! Consider yourself finished! I've still got a ways to go! my precision improving. Let's dispose of the trash. Crush! 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 Crush!
I never miss. Talent storm. Crush cannon. Escape. Do it. Do it. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Hey. Mm-hmm. Hey! Mm-hmm. What? Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She'd better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What?
Okay, off we go. I don't pick on the weak. Right there. Infernal Torrent. Slurp. I'm not done. Talon Storm. Touch the cannon. Don't go charging off like that. Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to hand. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way! I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be- But- We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia, so- Okay, thanks. Now you've got me wondering, how'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I've- <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to... Lucky indeed. I'll take you all off! Swallow Blade! Steering uh, Blade! Reload! Inferno Turret! Dragon Shot! Here I come! It's over! Steering take Blade! This. Reload! You're finished! I'm out of ammo! Destruction! Out I'm off the set! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Let's talk in more power. Cut them apart to your heart's content. This thing. I have a bad feeling about this. Swallow blade! Try this! Infernal turret! By the power of water! Oh, escape! Burn! 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 Burn!
houses in a place like this? People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Oh, well, that's rich coming from the Bright Eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms, being your own master, thinking and making decisions for yourself, and being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sislodan. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... You've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Damn those Renans. I hate seeing Danans suffering under them here too. Silence embedded! Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm! Uh. Damn it! Some rat must have sold us out again! You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! Ah! What? Leave him alone! An embedded dares defy the orders of his lordship? Know your place, slave! We can't use the Blazing Sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Zephyr? What the hell? Zephyr! Here they come! Fly! Fire in the hole! Big flash! Take it! Take it. Go! I'm only I'm the true gunslinger around here. Bring him down! Come on, Blade! Come, Come and face me! You're mine! Release! Take it! Here I come! You're mine! Rising one! Rising and loaded! You're on! Dead Dead on. Release! Slut! First strike! Destroy it! Crush! Lost and loaded! Get out! Get out! Get out! 
on, Zephyr. Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you... Please. It won't work, you know. My son. Oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! Reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't... I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you! Forgive me. <laughs> We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called bright eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family... My people were once known as mages. 
A Dan and Mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Dana and Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of times passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically, it's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I wanna... Can't believe I'm camping with a Ren-
Shion of all people. Shion saved my hide before. You can trust her. But you know how much the... Well, off we go. creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection... What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic... An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants. I've always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive... T it's okay. Little help! Swallow blade! Take Try this! Up. I'm Please, ready to you can handle this! Take this! Field. You're finished! I'll be saving this one! These ones can run <laughs> free around mine. us! You're finished! Crazy casting! Take this! It's over! By the power now! Blue escape! This is it! Here it goes! Blue escape! Not today! Hello. An opponent like this should be easy. Sleep now. Take this. More for the You're finished. Here's the crux. More with our hands. Raging cascade. Searing flames. You're mine. I'm out of the stockpile. Here I come. You're finished. More for the stockpile. Gemini Hall. Crux. Stop. Cross blade. Swallow blade. Here I come. Let the marksman handle this. Swallow blade. It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do. So we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax, the coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. <sighs> Thank you. 
sense one of your pals, Poodle? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Huh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looks like we've spotted one of Hoodle's friends. That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. Let's dispose of the trash. Raging of the trash. Is that the Zugo we're looking for? That should be enough to make the area more safe to travel in. <laughs> Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Till next time. Hmm. Huh? My guess. Of course. <laughs> Messia two two four. Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small <sighs> village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. What? Good.
Using zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up with it before. Okay. What's this thing? You're the friends of that man the Bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. <gasps> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? Sisloden, the capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Sisladin has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet. You're trying to get us all killed. Out to hell with that. Go on, report me. See if I care. I thought this Sisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many Snake Eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Sisloden it is. See anybody around here who could use our help? We Huh? Hey. Ugh. Sure. <sighs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. People are really terrified of the Snake Eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Ganabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Sisloden. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with them on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Sisloden anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zoogles? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us then.
The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. Rinwell, if you get injured, just let Xion know, okay? <laughs> I only have one pair of hands, you know. <sighs> Shion, could we talk a moment? And here I was, thinking I could get some rest. Is some- The matter? No, no, nothing like that. Then if it's all the same to you, I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I don't know, I just... I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we- Uh, yeah. Then if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. <laughs> Didn't get it, huh? I think it's time we go to sleep. How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting- I'm not procrastinating if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd for- I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. R right. Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. <sighs> I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> Because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> as soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do.
So this is the forest teeming with Zoogles you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or we're too late and the strays got to them first. Do you say every thought out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Don't worry, Hoodle. It's okay. 